So welcome to the Interactive Science Notebook. Um, you are totally encouraged to design the cover like we have done in the past. Uh, once again, minimum, you need to have, you know, Science 7, uh, your first and last name, the period, and then your science teacher. So inside, the inside cover is always going to be the Interactive Science Notebook uh, tables of contents, which we will often call the TOC. So the first one that goes down is all of the resources that we have. And so you're going to have all of these kind of printed out or you pick them all up. Um, so these are the first thing that you're going to glue in and just kind of go through. It's like, oh, here's page number one. It gets glued in on page one, uh, page two. And so you can see how this one, it doesn't fit the other way. So I had to rotate it. Uh, page three was the um, habits of learning. So that's available for printout now. And so page four, so this is kind of when we're starting to get into like techniques. So obviously this page is too big. So what I did was I folded it in half, but not quite half, because what I want to do is I want to be able to see on page four the title. So I can see this is the claim, evidence, reason, rubric, self-assessment. So if I folded it in half, I wouldn't see that. So I kind of offset it a little bit. And then, um, so the same thing would go with page five. And so this one gets taped in because it's two-sided. Whereas page five, this is single-sided. So in this case, um, I'm gonna fold it, not quite in half so I can see that title. And then I'm gonna put glue on it. And once again, kind of four dots is a lot. If you're using kind of Elmer's or even glue sticks, you don't need to glue the whole thing. And so I've got my page five. And so you're gonna kind of continue with that going through. Um, the front resources, and then you'll go to the back page and do 195 to 200. So I would start at the very last page and do prefixes and then kind of just go in order that way. So continue to put in the front resources. So once again, you can see how I folded this one um, on page six. It's, it's double-sided, so it needs to be taped in, but I can see the words um, for the title. Same thing with page seven. Um, it's single-sided, so I glued this one in. And I can, once again, I'm trying to see part of the title. Um, page 8 is double-sided. Once again, I folded it so I can see the title and it's taped, so I can flip back and forward. Um, page 9, the bottling rubric, I'm kind of folding it this way. Once again, I can see part of the title. Um, page 10 is the big aha and unit expectations. And once again, folding it that way. And then you'll have your unit title page um, coming in there. So let's look at the back of the notebook. So the back of the notebook um, is page 200. So you're going to have your prefixes. You could do the folding method, but it's small enough that if you want to cut it out, it can cut out. Um, same thing with 199. Uh, will be the science word roots. I'm going backwards. 198 is the collaborating sentence starters. And these were small enough that I could cut them out. 197 is the science contract. So you're going to want to sign it and fill it in. And then once again, you can see how I can see the title here. And then 196 is the science and engineering practices. And I folded it so you can see the title. And then 195 same thing, I can see the cross-cutting concepts title. And I want to talk a little bit about the last page. So the last page, um, it's really helpful to have um, a piece of thicker paper or, you know, fold something over a couple of times and make a little pouch. So this is, you know, half the size of the back and I have tape around three sides of it. So I have a thicker tape. And then this is where we have what we call flip out. So I have some, um, just normal line paper, I've got some graph paper, and then this is a fancy paper that's kind of somewhat see-through. So you want to have some handouts that are ready to go. And the reason is, at, you know, we are all kind of staying on the same page. So this student here was on page um, 106, and they were doing their graphic notes, and they ran out of space. And so they added one of those pages on. So this is what's called a flip out. They can flip out this way. Um, you could also flip out papers, you know, this way. It doesn't matter how you flip it out. But basically, when you're on a particular page and you have more to say, you just get one of those papers on the back and then you add on to it. And this is called a flip out. But don't go to the next page because the next page is a different topic in your table of contents. And just to kind of talk about the table of contents just real briefly, 
um, each unit you're going to get another handout and so they just get taped on the top so you can just kind of see you know that over time you're just going to have all of your tables of contents and the, the one that we just pasted in is down at the bottom. So that is an overview of getting started on in an interactive science notebook.